Good evening, my name is William Williams III, the senior pastor here at the Asbury United Methodist Church, and we're just going to get our um, mic situated. There is an echo. Okay. Let us, so I greet you uh, in the name of Jesus Christ and under, uh, in the name of all that is holy. And uh, we appreciate you coming out on this uh, winter day, 50 degrees one day and you know, 17 degrees the other day and sleet and snow and so we thank you for coming out. We're expecting some more people, and so uh, we'll get to uh, uh, Brother Keith Hollis in a minute and his uh, and introduce his friends. But I uh, want to welcome you in this uh, blessed Advent season, this blessed season of uh, of joy, of hope, and, and hope that you are able to receive and to fill uh, those um, things of uh, that last eternally. Uh, with that, though, let us stand and let us sing the first verse of the song that's in your program. Uh, we'll just sing the first verse of Precious Lord, Take My Hand. someone who will read the uh, musician's prayer.
Good evening, everyone. This is the musician's prayer. Dear Lord, please bless my music that it might glorify your name. May using it to serve you always be my aim. Let it be a witness to your majesty and love and remind us that you are watching from your throne above. Oh Lord, I ask your guidance in everything I do and pray you'll make my music an instrument to you. Amen. So this is my favorite time of the year. And I think I, uh, last I spoke with you, uh, I was supposed to come back with a report about uh, how I did in the kitchen uh, for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and, and, and I said at that time that something was in the air and that, that the Lord is call, uh, calling us, that there's something that is, uh, should be calling and should be uh, resting on your heart to allow you to do something different. And so for me, I was going, you know, I was being called to help my wife in new ways uh, around the house. And I said, you know what, I'm going to help you with Thanksgiving. And so I came back and, and I went home after that day and said, babe, I'm going to help you with Thanksgiving. And she said, no, I got this. <laughs> and said, no, no, I need to do something. I'm going to do something. And then Thanksgiving came and uh, I moved the table. I... Uh, one of the table legs were falling off, and so I, I screwed that back in. We uh, we bought a new table. Um, we had one of those uh, bought a, uh, one of those high tables, and the kids just couldn't sit at it. So we went uh, and bought a new table, and I put that together uh, late into the night and late into the evening, and and, and set that up. And um, uh, I did a couple. I vacuumed uh, around the house. Uh, I. Um, you know, I did some other things, but I said, no, I need to get in the kitchen. I need to do something in the kitchen. So uh, the collard greens that I had grown this summer uh, that some of you had a chance to uh, partake of, uh, I said, I'll cook those. And now this was now uh, two hours before Thanksgiving was about to start. And so I've learned, you don't, all right, you shaking your head. <laughs> don't cook collard greens. It, it takes a little longer than two hours. So uh, I didn't know that. I started it. And... Uh, kind of turned up the heat and did everything, and, and uh, I think my family was being nice to me, and they took one bite, and they said, mmm, <laughs> but no one went back for seconds. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and I think at that time, my sisters and brothers, I said, you know, we might fail. There's things that we might fail in, and that doesn't mean we, we give up. That doesn't mean we stop trying. During this season in which we celebrate the holiday, have been asking for uh, Hatchimals, uh, these things. I don't know if they are, but um, you know, they're a big thing. Uh, a pogo stick. Uh, my boys like this show called Paw Patrol. Uh, so every time they see a Paw Patrol commercial, point uh, and a point. One of the things I like listening to are my, is on Pandora or Amazon Music is Christmas carols. And there's a song that I have been listening to that I learned for the first time a couple years ago. And it says, do you remember me? I sat upon your knee. I wrote to you with childhood fantasies. Well, I'm all grown up now, but I still need some help somehow. I'm not a child, but my heart still can dream. So here's my lifelong wish, my grown up Christmas list. Not for myself, but for a world in need. No more lives torn apart, then wars would never start, and time would heal our hearts, and everyone would have a friend, and right would always win, and love would never end. This is my grown-up Christmas list. My sisters and brothers, we may not, as children, children of the divine, be asking for animals or things of toys. We may not for some other things that we grow up with. But I pray that you are asking for peace. I pray that you are asking for love. And this is not the cliche world peace. This is not the cliche of, you know, let's just love everybody, but this is a piece of love that's worth fighting for, a, and a love that's worth standing up for, a peace and a love that's worth saying, this saying when things are wrong and when things are right. 
a peace, a love that encourages you to use your voice, to use your skills, to find ways to make a difference. We may not all be freedom fighters marching in the streets, but we all have a home that we go back to. We all have a community that we go back to. We all have people that we text or that we call or that we interact with. We all have people that we may not, may not necessarily be on our good side. Those are the places where we The places where we search for peace, where we search for love, where we ensure justice is flowing. Your grown up Christmas list may be something a little bit different. But I encourage you during this season in which we talk about giving and which we talk about family and friends and coming together, that you begin to believe and dream of something that needs to change in your home, something that needs to change in your life. And I pray that that change encourages you and moves you to seek peace, to seek love, and to know that those things are worth fighting for. Never give up on those things, because those things will always last. Amen. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I am really excited about introducing our artist this evening. He's... Thank you, Pastor. So be on your best behavior. You might be uh, on film, so. Uh, um, it really is with pleasure. I'm very excited about this uh, evening's Jazz Vespa service. Um, Keith Hollis has been here before. Uh, he's a, a local musician. He came up through our area. He was also raised in a church. Um, he supported us, and he's played here on numerous occasions, even for our church service, but he developed into a very talented, remarkable jazz drummer. He's one, considered one of the best in the area. And when I spoke to Keith about this engagement, he says, you know, I'm gonna bring some special people with me this time. And he did. A Couple of the guys that he has, the keyboard player, you might recognize. I, I recognize him, but I'm bad with names, so I need my notes. <laughs> but uh, he plays on keys. Uh, Frank Strauss has played here before, and he did a remarkable job. Um, and then also the sax player. I know a lot of you of you here before will recognize him, and he is incredible. Uh, Ron Olander on sax, and he's excited to be back here. And then he's brought in a new guest, a close friend of his, a very talented bass player by the name of Dean Kerrigan. And he's played a lot in the area at the local casinos around the area, so he's quite an accomplished bass player. So without further ado, I'm going to call on Keith and his uh, musician friends to come on out and bring in the spirit for us. Keith Hollis. Also, by the way, Keith has CDs from this time, so after we finish, if you want to get some CDs from him, autographed, see him. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm talking in the mic. It's a miracle. Jeez. 
Um, I'm very glad to be here, and I just kind of wanted to uh, thank everybody for coming before we start playing, because I might forget to do that a little later. So I'm excited. I got some really great friends of mine that, uh, you know, took some time out the day and, you know, come make this thing happen. So thank you. I just wanted to thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Once again, we have my notes. We have Dean Kerrigan on bass, Frank Ross on keys, Ron Olander on Olander on horn sax, and ours truly, Keith Hollis on drums. Okay, we're going to take a brief pause for the cause. Um, I just have to announce that my pastor had another engagement um, that he had to be there early for. I'm sure you know about the affair that's going on at the All Wars Memorial building tonight at 6 p.m. Uh, hopefully we'll be done. So if you all want to have to want to go there and take part in that, it's at 6 o'clock. Reverend Al Sharpton will be there to talk about some of the relevant things of today. Uh, I hear he's always late, so you have time. To, you know, get there by six o'clock. So uh, we're going to take up a brief offering. Once again, I want to thank you all for coming out to our Jazz Vespers. We have another session coming up after we take up the offering. Uh, I will now call uh, my fellow com committee member to come forth, and we will bless this basket. Wake him up. I'm going to bless the basket, Brother Taylor. Uh, also, we don't have the forms for the sponsorship, but we're still taking the ads. So if you are interested in having your name on the bulletin, uh, you can let myself know, uh, you can let uh, Brother Taylor know, or you can let Tyrone know, or uh, Carolyn Taylor, raise your hand. Any of them you can just get the information for. We'll get your form and you can just uh, give us the payment and we will make sure that you're included in our Jazz Festival. Those of you who do donate, we really do appreciate your support. As you see in the bulletin, 100% of our offering goes towards this ministry. Um, uh, Brother Taylor, you have a basket uh, waiting on my committee member. I'll go grab the basket for you. Okay, I'm going to have a brief word of prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this offering we're about to receive. Bless the hands that contribute to this. Bless the souls that would like to. Bless the souls that support this ministry in any way that they can. And we give thanks for this in Jesus Christ, your son's name. Amen. Any, any little bit is appreciated. Um, it's not required, but it is appreciated. Thank you so much.
Okay, if you can, will you please stand for the offertory? And we say all things come of thee, O Lord. As we wait for the musicians to uh, come back out, uh, just a reminder that next month we will be having Eddie Morgan and friends and we will be celebrating uh, the, the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, let me just see if my guys are ready. And afterwards we will be having light refreshments. Uh, remember, for those of you who don't come all the time, every third Sunday at 4 p.m. We will be here come rain or high water, except for hurricanes. We don't do hurricanes. Hmm? Uh, Jan we'll have Eddie Morgan, a uh, local trumpetist, and uh, uh, his friends. It should be quite, quite an experience. Uh, and also afterwards, we do have light refreshments in the back. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to call on our fabulous musicians. And let's give them a welcoming Come back round of applause. <laughs> Dean Kerrigan on bass, Frank Strauss on keys, Ron Olander on sax. I hope you all have some money left over to get some CDs from Keith afterwards. He has CDs, autograph CDs. Ten dollars, ten dollars, autograph. Autograph for me. Thank you guys. You got I would like to thank the greatest woman on the planet for coming out tonight and supporting me, my mother. Can you stand up, Mom? Thanks. Yep, thank you so much. And my two sisters came out. You know, I got like 200, I got like 250 hits on Facebook. Like, oh, great, Keith's playing at the Jazz Vespers. And I see like one, two, three, four. Bev is over there. I got like four Facebook friends <laughs> out of 250 hits. Like, but it's cool. I thank you guys for coming out. Really appreciate you. Thank God for the gift to play music. You know, I'm just very grateful. But uh, we're going to do it again for a few minutes. And we're going to play a tune entitled Giant Steps.